Hey, hey, Blue Table fans. We're going to take a look at this Wave Serpent conversion that I've been talking about. And uh, it's really just a fire prism that's been magnetized. So uh, you magnetize on your turret, thusly. Uh, pretty simple operation. Uh, this one, you can see the magnet's been embedded. Oh, no, it's actually a metal plate inside. And that is definitely the way to go with that one. So uh, there's that part. And um, <clears throat> basically, you just put a magnet on the interior of the um, turret and uh, then you cut short the weapons and um, uh, so you end up with a twin linked missile launcher in this case and then of course the uh, the best combination according to some circles the uh, twin linked um, scatter laser so there's that one and uh, as you can tell uh, all you need to do is um, <clears throat> All you need to do is uh, just cut off part of, just need to cut off part of the weapon and uh, put it in there. Now on the bottom, <laughs> you've got a magnet down here and uh, a shuriken cannon or twin link shuriken catapult. So uh, the good combination is this. You've got uh, the shuriken, um, excuse me, the uh, shuriken cannon, which is uh, three shots at strength six and uh, the scatter laser. So here's why that's good. The scatter laser shoots almost a hundred percent chance of at least hitting once and then it, get, it gets laser lock and you get to uh, you get to re-roll the um, you get to re-roll the uh, shuriken cannon there and uh, you notice this wobbling a little bit uh, something that needs to be fixed. There's a tiny little nub coming through there but that's that's an easy fix. Uh, I just now noticed that and uh, also you've got all right, uh, just went and fixed that wobble. Um, okay, did want to show you that what the uh, fire prism turret ends up looking like. There we go. So we pull the scatter lasers out, and we put the uh, fire prism in. And in fact, uh, because it's magnetized, you could, theoretically, if you wanted to, uh, make it go on either side. So isn't that exciting? And uh, you could also uh, just put a blank on this side. And uh, I don't know if this is going to work. Nope, the polarity is not right on that. But anyway, if it were uh, pulled correctly, you could put the uh, Wraith, excuse me, the, yeah, the Wraith cannon from the um, Wraith Knight kit on it and make it into a, make it into a warp hunter. So anyway, something I may very well do just anyway. Uh, while we're at it, uh, this is a Wraith Knight. Um, and um, the problem we had is that the arms would sag uh, because they are solid plastic. And uh, even a larger or deeper magnet doesn't necessarily solve that. But what we did is we put a magnet on the top of the uh, underside of the shoulder pad and also on the arm at the position that we wanted. And between the two, it actually uh, holds very nicely. And it holds this arm as well so that it doesn't sag like that. And uh, so again, magnet on the top. So magnets at right angles for the Wraith Lord, excuse me, the Wraith Knight uh, does make it work.